Um, I, I think William Haig, Lord Haig today, said uh, that the fuse is getting shorter towards the dynamite, suggesting that it is now a matter of when, not if, the Prime Minister will face a vote of confidence. What do you think? Well, you can choose your political metaphor, uh, Darren. I, I, I mean, I might say that it's a very stormy day today here in Westminster, both in terms of the weather, but also in terms of the political weather. But yes, it does seem like, although the Prime Minister looked a lot safer last week, the trickle is growing. And that's the trickle of letters into the office of Sir Graham Brady. We're hearing more people who had misgivings about the Prime Minister write their letters. And it probably does not help that this week is, of course, recess, where MPs are back in their constituencies, the whips are a little bit further away, and potentially that's what's getting this drip, drip, drip of letters through the door. Now, we understand that uh, Sir Graham Brady may not want to uh, announce anything uh, if the threshold has been reached until Parliament is sitting again. So potentially next week we may well be hearing something significant, although it's incredibly hard to tell. Of course, as famously as many people know, this letter total is secret. Not one person on this earth knows it aside from Sir Graham himself. And he keeps those letters in a locked safe in his office. So uh, really we're doing a lot of guesswork when it comes to whether or not a no-confidence challenge will be mounted against the Prime Minister. However, we do know some history when it comes to these votes. We know that the last time uh, a, a no-confidence vote was called in a Tory party leader in Theresa May back in December 2018, only around 30 MPs were public in saying their letter had gone in, when of course we knew it was over 50 that needed to have gone in to initiate that ballot. So we do know that some people don't announce their ballots, don't announce their letters to Sir Graham Brady, despite having them in. On the other side of the ledger, we do know that potentially there are some war games being played by number 10, potentially some friendly MPs to the Prime Minister who may well have submitted a letter themselves so that when Sir Graham Brady rings round and says, are you sure you want your letter in? We're close to the total or we've reached the total. Are you double sure that you want your letter of no confidence in? They could then withdraw them and buy the Prime Minister some breathing space. However, of course, 54 letters is not a significant, is not a huge proportion of the Tory party, given that there are 360-odd uh, Conservative Party MPs, and there's a difference. There's a difference between the 54 needed to initiate uh, a no-confidence vote and the over 180 votes needed for then the Prime Minister to lose, for a majority of Conservative MPs to uh, vote no confidence in the Prime Minister once that ballot goes forward. So this is a multi-stage process, and even though the Prime Minister may well face a vote of no confidence, he may well win it, and therefore, under the current rules of the 1922 committee, be secure from another challenge for another year.